Yo, Raj. What's up, man? What's up, dude? How you doing, dude? I'm doing all right, man. Doing so it's right. been a couple of years. How's the springs treating you? Well, I love the wheels, but the springs, I mean, uh, the ride quality could be better. A little bit better. I'm sure yeah. after it settled, it kind of started to, to diminish a little bit. So, and then you're going to the takeover this weekend. I will be there. I'll Madonna be there. Madonna in. So I wanted you to come by so we could do an inspection, check, check your tires, check your bushings, make sure everything's good. And, uh, and improve my ride all the way down. And improve your ride. So let's That's finish, what I'm talking about. Let's finish the suspension up, you guys. So, you know, you already got the springs. They didn't have these shocks available at that time. So I'm going to show you guys what we're going to put in Roger's car today. What do you got? Ooh. They're these Tane Endura Pro shocks. So these are the fixed damping ones. These are not the adjustable ones. So Raj is going to test these out for us. We're going to get them on the car, see how it rides with the Eibach lowering springs. We're going to inspect this car, bushing, suspension. I think you put about 20 or so, 25 yeah, about 20, miles on Yeah, it. about 20K. So we got to look over these tires and uh, get them all set up for, for the takeover, dude. Dude, appreciate it. Get yeah, me man. set up right yeah, so I don't, set. you know. <laughs> yeah, we don't, any, want, we don't want any problems on your way down. Yeah, so. definitely. Appreciate it, guys. All right, man. We'll see you back. Cool. Thanks. Right, later. All right, so check it out. We just got Raj's front and rear shocks out of the car. So he does have a 2018 long range rear wheel drive. It's a pretty rare spec. So these are his factory dampers. We're gonna show you guys how these compare in terms of rebound to the actual Tane Endura Pros. These are the non-adjustable ones. So they're only, for rear wheel drive, they're like 570 bucks for a set. Super cheap, really affordable. So let's show you the difference like we've always done in the past. And I think you guys will be really surprised. So let's get these things compressed. Okay, compression seems pretty similar, but look at this. Look at the rebound on the Tane versus factory. There you go, Tane is done. This is the rear shock, by the way. I'm just gonna set this down while we wait. there yet and oh my god I think we're almost there okay we're there finally and look you can see they're the same dimensions we've shown you that in the past with the Enduro Pro Pluses now let's go to the fronts all right let's get these things down Okay, and let's go. Look at that. Tane is done. And OEM. Still waiting. And we've made it. So there you go. You guys can see some of the differences in rebound. The Tane's definitely made a big difference. We'll have Raj comment on that. Hey guys, what's up? So we just finished installing the Tane Endura Pros on Tesla Raj's car and I had an opportunity to test drive it and I will tell you, I was really impressed. So these things paired really, really well with the Eibach lowering springs. You know, his car actually didn't ride as bad as I expected it to from the factory with the Eibach springs. So I was a little skeptical on how these things would feel and I will tell you, they did make a substantial difference. So. One of the things you'll note is when I compress the shocks, you can see how fast these things rebounded versus the factory shocks. Well, you can feel that in the car. So what happens is, is you can feel 
the shocks actually pushing that tire into the little ruts in the road. So what that does is it keeps that car really flat. So you're sitting in the car, this thing stays flat while the wheels are moving into the ruts and keeping you level and not being bounced around. So I think Tane did a great job on setting their damper, you know, their valving curves for this because these are not adjustable. So if you're not into, you know, messing with your settings and, and constantly trying to play around with them and you just want something that's a set it and forget it type of a thing, this will do that for you. And at $570, I can see these things. 570 for the rear wheel drive model, all wheel drive is 630 bucks currently, plus tax, plus shipping. But at that price point, this is a no brainer. I mean, if you want to really change the feel of your Tesla Model 3 or Y, this product is amazing. The, the ROI on, on this is just phenomenal for being so affordable. So I encourage all of you to look into it. Um, again, guys, we appreciate your support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, if you haven't checked out our Patreon account, please do so. Become a patron. It's only $5 a month. It really helps us to produce these videos. And stay tuned for the next video where we actually meet with Tesla Raj and hear his feedback after his 500-mile round-trip drive to the Tesla takeover at the Madonna Inn. See you on the next one.